Okay, friends. So, are you uh, graduating from a uh, good college like tri IIT, Triple IIT, ISCs, NITs, or equal good college in the league of these institutes? There are so many. So, I uh, I'm not naming many of the colleges, private sector, government sector. There are many colleges which are in this league and world reputed colleges. The perception of these colleges, your college should be good. Now. Uh, if your CGPA is uh, more than 8, you have done some good research work in the field of the research work of the professor of two very prestigious universities, National Institute of Singapore and Nanyang Technical University. NUS is among first 10 global institutes and NTU is among first 20 global institutes. And if you want to spend two months summer internship or immersion program in that country, then it is a wonderful opportunity for you. And friends, let me tell you, internships are always good. BTEC students as well as MTech students can go for these internships. The details are available on the sites. I'll just share with you this thing. And uh, before I go forward, don't forget to join the largest group, WhatsApp group of all the students who are aspiring to go for internship programs. Uh, there's a dedicated WhatsApp group which your PDA mentors have created and they keep on sharing these kind of uh, you know opportunities in that whatsapp group so please join that link is attached with this video and also uh, the way to you know go for internship and the best uh, advantage of going for internship is to seek fully funded ms or direct phd opportunities later on when you come in contact with the professors of these universities then you can impress them with your work research work in the lab two months three months for which you are paid five thousand singapore dollars you are going to get so it is fully funded you are not to spend any single penny from your pocket but it will consolidate your cv for higher educational courses in these countries not only in singapore but world over wherever you want to go later on ms and phd programs fully funded if you want to get then the probability that you will get scholarship will be very high fully funded ms phd you can get it so the uh, you know universities uh, nus and ntu if i can show you maybe uh, let me show you some of the universities here which you can uh, think of joining so this i think yeah this one is uh, a national university of singapore this is an internship and research immersion program in singapore so there is a detail of this particular program you can go through this website the link also i will share with you and you can go to the you know uh, profile of the professors you can see what work professors are doing so basic requirements like cgpa your college and IELTS, GRE, TOEFL, nothing is required, but your CGP is required. That should be good. I, uh, they have not mentioned it, but I'm telling you that 8 CGP should be there. The perception of your college should be good in the minds of the professor. And the most important is the SOP, which they are asking. So you need to prepare that really good. So you need to tell uh, what is your background and uh, what is the background of the professor with whom you are going to you know, do internship and what you want to do in that and what is the objective of this internship. So that is what you have to write. So go through this NUS uh, National University Singapore and uh, similarly there is uh, another is uh, you know this uh, Nanyang Technical University for which I have already made a video Global Connect Fellowship. So these two opportunities are the wonderful opportunities and I think you should try for that and they are not limited there are so many such more opportunities. So why not you know spend two months there in these universities and I am very sure you will get good opportunities. All the very best look forward to mentor you in your PDA. Thank you.